year is 1992, and Hasbro bringing another awesome combiner to you guys comes Generation 2 Bruticus. Generation 2 Bruticus consists of five Combaticons. They all have a high detail and a really, really odd paint scheme. These things actually have probably some of the coolest camouflage that has ever been brought to the Transformer world. Starting out the lot comes Brawl. Brawl oddly comes in a lime green and purple scheme. His transformation is extremely simple. It's identical to the original Generation 1. There's no differences here whatsoever. But yet, it's very satisfying after you get them unfolding them out. Noticing there is a large cannon still strapped to his back. He still looks like a very opposing little robot. Next in the line comes Swindle. Oddly, Swindle has this real red motif. It's a very screaming red, with this odd purple really just jetting throughout. Although the two colors really don't mesh very well, it still looks very, very interesting. It's still one of the coolest little transforming Jeeps of the entire line. Falling out of orbit comes Blast Off. Blast Off appropriately is now in a white and black scheme, although it's oddly shed with a lot of purple camo all over it. It does look like a very neat looking space shuttle, but when you start unfolding this thing into its robot mode, it is clear that this thing has got probably one of the coolest paint schemes in the entire lot. Although it still has the little gimmick where you have to fold in the tail fin on the back, it still looks very cool when he's in robot form. Next in the line comes Vortex. Vortex is still his combat helicopter form. Although this is a very navy kind of looking helicopter now with the real odd light blue along with the purple just thrown all over it. It still has a spinning gimmicks but yet it's still one of the coolest transformations in the entire line. This is possibly the most complex transformation out of the entire group, but he's still really, really neat when you get into robot mode. Especially whenever you leave the props still attached to the back. Last, but definitely not least, comes Onslaught. Onslaught still has his truck mode. Although he has picked a really bright yellow along with a purple scheme, he is still very cool. And yes, the gun that comes off of him does have a firing missile. This was a nice add-on that they started adding to Generation 2, giving us firing gimmicks to some of the combiners that never had it. It's extremely satisfying unfolding this entire robot. Although it's a very weird transformation, it still really shows how stocky this guy is when he's complete. When he's in complete robot form, it really does show that he is the leader of the group. He stands very tall, and he's got cannons strapped to his back, along with the ability to be able to hold the rocket launching gimmick, and or if you want to, the normal Bruticus gun. When you finally get the entire group together, it's absolutely clear that these things are in ridiculous colors. Although that is the one big appeal of this group. This group has a very incohesive color scheme, but it is one of the coolest groups of the entire lot. Although the purple that goes throughout all really blends them back together and turns them into one big cohesive unit. And for Onslaught, yes, he still retains his third mode. It doesn't take long to be able to figure out that you just have to fold a few bits out and then lay him down on his front and then apply the great ramp that he came with. After applying the ramp and attaching the guns, 
you can clearly tell that blast off fits on him just like he did in generation one this is a great mode which it's very interesting that it's actually a dual purpose mode not just a rocket base but a base where you can launch off any of your vehicles off the ramp. but enough of this third mode you guys came here for the combination so let's get on to that onslaught's extremely easy once you get him in base mode then after that you guys know the drill you have to transform the little guys back into their alt modes to become legs and arms After the, all the arms and legs have been assembled, you can start putting in the peg syndrome style heads. Although this is still a knuckle biter for most people, I still find this very satisfying and very fun. As you can tell, when Bruticus is in his full form, he looks awesome. But when you apply the weapons, it even shows that he's even more menacing. This robot actually stands out as one of the coolest Decepticons out of Generation 2. He's very iconic and he does look very, very good next to his counterparts. And yes, the Scramble City is what really sells these guys. Most people that do buy these tend to have problems with them, but I myself have not had any. This guy's a real fun robot to have and he's very awesome. But once you get the entire band together, it's clear that these three combiners are some of the ones that people need to have in their lot, especially if you're a Decepticon fan. If you're really into Generation 2, I highly suggest you try picking some of these things up. Although I do know for a fact that Abominus and Minasaur really were never produced, there are still customizers out there that do offer great tips and hints and or can do these for you guys. But this has been Plastic Talk, and this has been yet another Generation 2 review. You guys stay tuned. There will be more. Peace out, you guys.